As the sun's rising in the sky, I would like to say a big howdy who and welcome to Nose Gaming. Oh wow, 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 wow. Do you remember last episode when we made our crap farm? Look at it. Just look at it. It is humongous. It's got a nice frame on it now. But let's go check it out. What it is actually producing. If we get a cheeky look in this chest here, look at that. It's going well. It is going well. If we come over to, I believe it's here. Okay, that basically, we've, we're have in the second chest now for the... What did I put in there? What did I put in there now? We've got carrots and... We've got carrots and something to make bread. I can't remember what it is. But we've got that all in there today. And then let's go check our wood farm, which was left running overnight. It is now full. Every chest is full of spruce logs and... Oh, I threw them. I'll need them for later. Come back. There we go. But yeah, it's full. Oh, these aren't. Why aren't you full? Why aren't you filling then? And we fixed it. We had to reroute some things. So it looks like the actual logistical cable was too long. And we noticed that in here is full. This chest is massively full. So once they get all packed, we can uh, send them all to the furnace to get burnt. Uh, there, once they've all been burnt, then we don't need to worry about anything. I could probably send them into somewhere else as well. Just to make things uh, to burn them faster. Maybe pump them into a bit of lava. Just to make things go even more faster there. But now we've got all the logs coming back out and into the chest. And you can see here, more sludge is going to get created for our requirements of gravel and sand in order to make... Uh, what are we making? In order to make concrete. Wow, that, I'm glad that's now sorted. Let's transform back into a human. There we go. Ah, back in my own skin. I'm glitching out. I'm back. There we have it. Fantabby dozy. Right, 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 right. So that tree farm's now... Pumping away as we needed it, but we're going to be moving on to this build, the next building next to it, which is going to be the husbandry building. And you're probably wondering why have I got to these here? Well, these are going to be here for the cows that we're going to have. So we're going to be milking cows and going to collect the milk there. Why for all the cheese? And we're going to use a few things today in this mod. Where if we check, if we check, if we go along here, you'll see we've got the mob crusher, which will crush and collect all the mob mob items. Uh, we've got the baby animal separator, so we can separate the animals, which required some purple dye, which then we will use the dye mixer for. We've got, where else, what else we got? We've got the animal sewer, where we can collect the sewage and turn it into sewage compost uh, for future builds. Then we've got the, the mob slaughterhouse there for collecting meat. We've got the mob duplicator, but that requires some nether stuff, so we will do that in the future episode we've got the animal rancher which will actually collect the milk and the wool from the animals and what else we've got we've got resource fisher we might do sludge mob detector there is something also called the animal grower which will grow the items but that's just going to use up resources and i don't think it really matters if we grow the animals quick we may do if the production isn't big enough or with the production is just too slow we may move on to that but there's just no need at this current in time so we're going to leave that one Till for a later date. Right then, I'm gonna build all these machines and then slowly move some cows into here. That's all the machine, different machines built. We got the dye mix for the purple dye, the animal feeder, the baby separator. Let's start with the purple dye actually. Uh, we'll use well with the dye. We're gonna just put the dye right here next to because there's no actual room that's required for it at this minute in time. Uh, I don't see that would need a lot of different colours. So we're gonna touch some power into this now. And then we're going to take a look at the inside of it. So here you can see if we actually input a certain amount of dye. So we've got the red dye and the red dye. Well, um, hmm. Let's go. Let's go. I've got a few dyes over here. If we go take a quick cheeky quick look. Where are they? They're in one of these chests. So we've got some red dye. We can use blue lapis for the blue dye. And I believe we'll need some yellow dye. Have I got any? Uh, nope. So now we've got a uh, some yellow dye. So I believe we should just... Oh, wait. Does it require green dye? Not yellow dye. Oh, I'm blind. Maybe if we just put that in there. No, there we go. We can fill that up. Put the blue lapis in. That'll fill that up. All right. Well, I've been to my dye f farm area uh, where we get the cat this. Now we're going to fill that all up. Look at that. And I believe we now have the capabilities of mixing some dyes. Now, I don't know actually how to do this. So we've got the output items here. We should be able to make, make artificial dyes. It obviously requires power. So let's see how we make these 
artificial dye. So it just says to do that. Uh, have a look. I believe we, we will require maybe some fluid, some water possibly. Let's go check. And I have lowered the uh, block sound down because, my God, that clicking was really driving me mental. Let's see if we do that now. No, do that. No, no, no. So how do we use this dye machine? Ah, after some research, it actually requires one of the laser lenses in order to produce the uh, different required color. Unfortunately, we don't have any pink slime at this minute in time. So we'll move on to the cows and husbandry. So here's the area where the animals are going to go. And that's the cow area set up, ready to rock and rumble. Uh, if we have a look here, we've got a couple of things going on. We've got the animal rancher, which actually collects all the milk and wool from the sheep and that, the pigs. The pigs, sorry, the sheep and the cows. But that's going to be harvesting straight into these pens here. Next, we've got, on this side, we've got the baby separator, which will be going into this area here. The babies will get sucked through into this area where the adult filter mob crusher make sure you got the adult filter there so it only kills the mobs and uh, we'll collect all the items in here and then i haven't worked out what what area yet i might build the building across the road yet and feed it underground or i haven't quite decided yet where i want all these chests to go or i might just have them running up along here and up along each pillar I haven't quite decided where i want these to go yet i, sh I really need to figure that out oh in fact in fact we could have the chests here the pipes behind it, maybe, maybe, the possibilities there, but they'll anyway collect all the uh, different types of food. We can even have a logistical sorter, maybe as well, to uh, sort between the different meats and leather that we're going to get. But I don't think we'll need that. This side is going to be utilised for pigs, I haven't set this up yet because I want to test. And then here we have the animal feeder which will feed the adult cows. Now, you're probably thinking, when am I going to get all the adult cows from? Well. I'm going to transform back into myself and we're going to head to our farm and collect them from there. Well, I've literally just put some cows in right there and immediately they are all ready. Oh, look at that. You can even get XP from it. I might have to already while producing some cows and we've even got a little bit of milk, I believe. Yeah, we've got milk. I'm going to be going into those ones as well. Fantabulous. We're going to get the rest of the cows so, so we can actually start reading this more and then we'll go from there now in this area i want pigs but we've got a few more items that we can actually utilize like this theme uh that animal sewer so i'm going to place this directly in the middle here the animal sewer and that what that'll do is that'll collect sewage from the animal and then we can put that into the where is it the sewage composter and add another building onto the side here for pigs. But we need a new feeder and we need to build all this up. Uh, I've put 10 cows in here just so we don't have to worry about lag. But look how much milk it's producing already. These are going to be filled in no time, which is perfect. And voila, we have pigs in there. We have cows in there. And look, all our milk are nice and filled up. Yeah, I got all the animals in here with the golden lassos, as you've seen what we utilize for the villagers. Look at them. We are now breeding slowly. We've just got carrots in here and apple for some reason. But we've just got carrots in here just feeding the animals. Um, these will then obviously get put into here. And the mob crusher is now collecting some items. Fantastic. So now you're probably thinking, but what else am I missing? Well, I'm obviously missing chickens and sheep. But we're not going to utilize sheep, no. Uh, sorry, we're not going to utilize chickens, no. We're going to build, we're going to place the sheep on top of here um, into in a small chamber where we're going to have different colours of wool. Now, if you can see here, the grass is actually gr growing under, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the grass is actually growing, growing under the grass and I'm hoping it moves all the way up through here. I haven't figured out a way to do, get the, uh, what's it called, the XP yet all from out here, but we'll figure that one out. We'll figure that one out. If we look over here as well, we can see that we are now, in fact, collecting some sewage. So I'm going to, if we go at industrial again, for some reason it's in capitals. If we type in that, we can actually see we've got a sewage treatment plant somewhere. There we are. Sewage composter. We're going to make this and in the building next door and have that for collecting fertilizer. And then move on to other ones. Uh, where have we got? Move on, basically, move on to the other stuff in this mod. 
and voila our farm system is now up running all plumbed into where it needs to be all tickety boo if we take a look in here you'll see that these will grow up and all the items will get pumped out of here well they should be i need to configure it let's go one and two there we go you'll see all the items now getting pumped through from the adults that have grown up they'll go into these chests at the back here Hopefully, though well, they should do. Let's have a cheeky little look. Will they? Are they coming? Where are they? Have they got lost? There they come. They'll start filling up these chests. And then we've even got a wolf farm here now, which will start in this area here. These will start filling up these chests. Which chest is first? This one. But the, ironically, there's 16 sheep in here, but no grass. So in the future, I need to get the grass actually pumped in. Otherwise, otherwise there'll be no actual, actual point in having it set up because they won't be able to regrow their wool unless we have the glass on it. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Have you come to check it out as well? So, in the next episode, I'm going to be, well, getting all the food from here. I'm going to manually input the carrots and stuff like that. The reason being is because it'll cause too much lag on the server if we have all these baby animals. It'll just cause too much lag and it won't be good for anybody. But, oh my god, look at all this barley. But we can simply go into here, grab a few stacks of carrots, run it down to the chest at the bottom, like so, and input them in. And it'll breed them up for us. So, that is good. We'll have unlimited pork, which I'm currently eating now. Get rid of you. Fantastic. But next episode, we will start looking into... Um, where is it? The sewage composter and then also, also looking at mob duplication, the mob crusher and then moving on to all this washing factory and everything like that down here. I'm actually streaming right now but uh, I'm going to do this live on stream before the end the actual episode. So uh, let's crack on. I'm going to end the episode here by actually, if we take a quick look down, we're going to actually look in this cave in this hole right here see I came across this the other day while I was uh, trying to look through the map well I say the other day but I had to restart the place so hence why so we're gonna take a quick cheeky look down and see what we can't find each episode I'm gonna try and look into one of these and see what loot we can get out of it I do realize that I brought half my inventory I wonder if we can like unnecessary items down here but we're going to take a look down and this is going to be raw footage you're going to see me you're going to see my reaction and then we're just going to go from there okay so i'm going to get in fact i need to eat something because i am famished right okay it looks like a dungeon that way it looks like a dungeon that way okay we got to break the break these cobwebs take the kill oh oh we got some oh, hop seeds let's just go straight for now okay we've got lava hello we've got a bit of a shelving book shelving here anything any secrets that we can unlock anything behind no just books for now <clears throat> okay Let's break you. Go through this way, maybe. Oh God! So there's plenty, plenty of plenty of cobwebs that we're going through. Let's go through here. Have a look. Why is there cobblestone there? Why is there cobblestone? Okay, there's no reason why that cobblestone was there. It just was there. What is this place? There's just. There's a chest, right. Nothing. Oh. Wait, is that just you? Yeah, I thought, there was a, I thought there was a trap there then. Let's have a look in the chest. We've got a steel pickaxe. Okay, and <clears throat> more hop seeds, which I don't need because we've got plenty of hops. In fact, are these hops any special in any way? Growth craft hops. Well, we can get rid of the clay. We'll collect them because we don't. I don't know what they're actually used for. Okay. Oh, I may need to lower me strength this pickaxe down because it is quite strong right now. Thank you. 
so that is the way out. So we've been that way. Let's go further in. We need to go this way now, don't we? This is where it starts getting a bit scary. Hello. Oh, no. Are you a spider spawner? It's alright. I'm slightly poisoned. That's fine. Ah, yes. A spider spawner. There we go. We'll put that there so they don't spawn. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, another chest here. Another chest. Let's have a look inside. A steel sword and some more hops. Ah! Ah! Wait! 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 You're a minute. Don't attack me. What? What? What are you doing? That's just not allowed. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, it's a jewel spawner. Oh, we can make something out of this. Oh, that's interesting. <gasps> no, brought the chest. Brought the chest. Oh, no, the book's flying away. Um, ah, oh, I've read a grape seeds. Ah, uh, cobwebs. No, I brought the chest. I don't want to pick up the chest. Uh, what do I need? I don't know what to get rid of. I, I can make more chests. I can make more grape seeds. Oh, there we go. We sort to hit. Ooh. So we've got a book. We found a book. What's through there? Nothing through there. Okay. Anything through here? There. Skeletons. Is that a skeleton spawner as well? Oh my god! What? Wait, what? What? We got a skeleton spawner as well. That is mega! Oh, it's spawner central down here. Oh. Suspicious hat unlocked. Let's clear out this area. So, within literally. A few blocks, there is a, sk a spider spawner and a skeleton spawner. What a way to f end the episode there and find that. That is immense. Nothing else hiding away. No. I can hear things, but I can't. Nothing there. Nothing there. Just plenty of copper, though. And we've run out of power on our pickaxe anyway. But what a way to end the episode, guys. I'm going to end the episode there. I've been Nebs Gaming. You've been amazing. Toodaloo. And what a find we have. Like and subscribe. I'll see you beautiful guys in a few. Goodbye.